Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to get Metal Gear Solid 4 working properly through RPSC3. So what you want to do is head over to desktop mode um, and then you're going to load up RPS3. Okay, so when you want to, when you've got that done, should I say, what you need to do, you need to head over to your game. So let's just go over to Metal Gear Solid 4, right click and then you want to go to Custom Configuration. So go to Change Custom Configuration, okay, and then you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So this is exactly how you need to have everything. So your CPU, as you can see, is like that. Next we'll over, head over to GPU. Okay, so this is the GPU section, and what you want to do, you want to keep your frame rate limit to 60. You'll understand why. So keep everything the same like it is there. The next one we're going to head over to is going to be audio. Okay, so now we're on audio, and what you want to do is make sure you click this, enable time stretching, this will stop the dips of the audio. Then what you want to do is head over to advanced tab. <clears throat> now there's not much to do here apart from this, where it says driver wake up delay. Have that between 200 and 300, I found 240 is the actual sweet spot. So you've got everything there ready to go. Next thing you need to do is make sure you run in the patches. Okay and to find the patches you need to go to manage. And then you can see that bit there where it says game patches so let's go ahead and click on that and you can see it states new patches are available do you want to update and just go ahead and click on yes okay so let's click yes there so here are all the patches for metal gear solid 4 guns of the patriots you can see these are the ones that i keep active that keeps the game running as well so you need to manually add a patch. Now to do this, you need to make sure the patch file is saved to YML file. Otherwise, the emulator is not going to read it. So I'm not going to show you exactly where to get the patches. Uh, you can just find them. a little bit of Googling. The RPSC3 wiki page has them all. Copy and paste. Remember to save them as a YML file. Okay, so with that and everything done, we should go ahead and get the game working. So let's go over to SteamOS mode. Alrighty then, so here we are back on SteamOS mode. So let's go ahead and load up our PCS3. Okay, let's play. Okay, and you can see we have all our games here. So let's scroll down to Metal Gear Solid 4. Okay, so once you booted it, go ahead and load up the game, boot with custom com configuration. As you can see, I've already got everything installed. So let's press X or A on the Steam controller. Okay. And then let's load the game up. As you can see, it's running. There's no freezes when it got to this bit as it used to. Been on this about seven hours now. Okay. Let's go ahead. Now you can see that's the title. Let's start. Let's load my game. As you can see, there's my runtime, seven hours so far. Okay. Okay, and then let's get this loaded. Apologies for the blurriness. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber or anything that has you know, tripods and things like that. So, go ahead, start. So as you can see, here we are. There's the game itself, got the game running. It still looks fantastic to this thing I can see through. Okay. Let's see what frame rates we're getting, let's bring that up. So the frame rate tends to fluctuate. There we go. It's it's trying to, it's harder. 
Uh, but you know what? It runs up to the fine. Um, me being a console gamer, I'm not really that bothered about frame rate. So you see, let's run around. Can we get a bit of a gist of it? Let's get the snake. Snake, what's wrong? Answer me, please. Okay, and there you have it. 